Hello everyone, welcome to Follow Dynamics. So today's video is about this. So this is one of the legs of a, of a humanoid robot. Uh, my long term plan is to make an entire humanoid robot which is around 4 to 5 feet tall and have it functioning like a human being. So this is the first leg of my humanoid robot and that's what you're going to see today, how I have made this. So the entire project will be divided into various episodes. So the first episode will consist of the leg. Um, and the second episode may consist of the hip joint and so on. So let's look at how I've made this leg and um, have a look at what mechanisms I've used. So let's go. Okay, so the parts we will need for this uh, robot are um, aluminum extrusion. So um, this is 2020 extrusion. It has slots on each side so I can place my screws directly into that. I don't need to drill holes. The second essential part I'll need for the robot is this uh, smooth steel rod. So it's 8 mm in diameter and um, I'm gonna use it to make my joints. The last part which is essential to the robot uh, is this lead screw with a nut. So the lead screw and the nut will be coupled with the motor. So when the motor rotates, I'll have my uh, nut travel up and down the lead screw. So my rotational motion will be converted into a translational motion or linear motion. That's how I'm going to be controlling the robot. So now let's see um, how I've 3D printed the other parts, uh, the parts which connect all these together and as well as cutting the rod into sizes I need. Let's go. Alright, so I'm done with the first part. So the first part consists of uh, this mechanism right here. So the first basic piece I have is the base part. So uh, this is responsible to handle the entire load. So it needs to be distributed well. Uh, these four pieces which distribute the load evenly across them. And um, the second part I have is this universal joint right here. This, this chunk right here. So it helps the aluminum, the main skeleton of the robot to move freely in uh, all directions. I have, another, uh, I have another hinge joint on top, so the hinge joint allows my knee movement. I also have uh, these universal joints right here and right here. So uh, for the first universal joint on top, these two universal joints are mounted to the motors. So they have freedom of movement and the receivers for the actuators which receive the lead screw are also mounted onto universal joints. So whenever this motor goes down and this motor comes up, I will get a motion which makes my uh, robot lead to the right and when, my ro uh, when the opposite happens, when this goes down and this comes up, my robot leads to the left. But when both of these go down, the, my robot leads forward so it ro goes in that direction. And when my uh, motors push, like they come up, uh, my robot comes backwards. So that's the basic mechanism of the first half. I'll also be mounting the second half now. So let's get on with the second half. All right. So I'm done with the top of the top half of the robot. The top half consists of the thigh, the uh, completed knee joint, and the hip joint. It will be controlled using uh, these type of uh, mechanisms, and um, it will be inverted. So I can control my knee uh, using uh, the same mechanism. I'll be also making a second uh, leg in uh, in the background. So I'll be making it over the course of the uh, till I publish the next video. The next video will consist of me making the hip joint and mounting the electronics for my uh, leg joints. Uh, then we'll look at coding in future episodes as well. So make sure you subscribe to uh, keep up with this project and uh, you can even copy it or you can um, take inspiration from it and make your own robot. It's open source. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe. It will help the channel uh, out and yeah, that's it. Thanks.